most conversations go like mostly the same. Like they're trying to get to know you, you're trying to get to know them. It's like a foregone conclusion of whether or not you're going to get her. So I'm never thinking like, how do I keep this going? How do I keep this going? Stop swiping on girls below that threshold and you stop cold approaching girls below that threshold. Then you never have girls huh. in the funnel that are, that are below that standard. Dude, your product actually <laughs> fucking saved my life. Here's my question to you. Um, your method, fantastic, dude. Um, I like that it sounds like not, I'm not a dancing monkey. I'm not doing some stupid performance. Um, but the vibing stage, I struggle with. Like, I can approach well. I seem cool. I pull a girl away to get drinks. And initial vibing is okay. But then I can't vibe beyond like 10 minutes. The conversation Why? Is you just run out of stuff to say? Yeah. So it's not like, I, I like how you say, like, just say what comes to the mind. Don't try to filter yourself, which I'm doing. But like, I can think of a few dates where like, I'm doing that. And eventually the conversation just falls flat. Now I'm back into thinking it, and logical brain because I can't, I don't have anything to talk about. But are you able to have conversations fine with, with guy friends, like past 10 minutes? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more comfortable with a long, awkward pause. because It's not awkward. We're just like chilling. We're not trying to do anything. So you haven't like quite convinced yourself that you're going to bang the girl for sure. When you convince yourself and you're, you're holding like the mindset that you're going to bang her for sure, then it gives you permission to just do whatever. And then that allows you to interact authentically. And then, you know, the girls resonate with that. Anybody that's trying to like impress the girl, be the cool guy, the funny guy, the witty guy, et cetera, they can see right through that instantly. And it also makes the guy look like he's putting her on a pedestal and it's like a big deal and all this stuff. For going past 10 minutes, just think of it like this is a girl you're already banging. And so it doesn't matter if there's a pause. You can't fuck it up really from that mindset, right? It's like if you're out with a fuck buddy, there's no way to fuck it up. What are some topics that are like, you know, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be anything, but like just good topics to talk about with a girl you don't know. In my course, I have like a, like a whole list of all the major conversational topics I use, but I'll ask them about their ethnicity. I'll ask them about things relating to their appearance, whether that be like tattoos, their hair, their outfit. You can talk about things that are happening in the venue that are going on in the venue. Just normal get to know you questions just don't make that like the whole focus but i almost always ask girls like what do you do for work what area of the city do you live in logistical questions what are you doing after this how do you guys know each other etc sexualization threads where you're sexualizing the conversation and, and the physicality goes in with that the pull framing and i do a lot of demonstration of higher value stuff with loose frameworks of stories where i'm not, I'm not telling the stories canned or verbatim every time but it's like a loose framework talking about traveling, being a closet nerd and studying a bunch of shit, DJing events, like just like the different strengths I have highlighting those different things in a way that's not bragging or putting it in her face. You can claim your free ticket for our Approach Breakthrough Challenge, December 8th and 9th. It's going to be Friday and Saturday coming up not too uh, far off in the future by going to the info card in the corner or by going to the link in the description or the pinned comment and picking up your free ticket. You don't even really need to run them much past 10 minutes anyways. Like I just had Paul Jenka on the stream recently and he was saying that he prefers one to two minute interactions because he doesn't want to invest in an interaction that might not go anywhere. And a lot of times there's no rhyme or reason which ones convert and which ones don't. In general, longer is, is like a stronger number in general but like, it's only a correlation. It's there's plenty of like longer interactions that will never respond. And there's no, plenty no, I'm that, talking about being on, being on a good date or something. I'm not talking about a cold approach. Like, oh, on the date. Oh, okay. Cold approach. oh yeah. okay, okay. So on the date, you don't want to come, like a lot of these YouTubers are like teaching guys to come with like a pre-prepared list of questions for a date. And that's just completely wrong. You shouldn't come with like your interview questions or interrogation list. It should just be like, you want to highlight different strengths you have without bragging. That's the demonstration of higher value stuff. You want to accomplish key objectives on the date. The most important two things and the most important uh, two things that guys fuck up is you have to sexualize it so that it's non-platonic. Right. And that's not just through that's what she said in innuendos. It's 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 just like how you're looking at her, how you're talking to her, compliments that you give that are direct and stuff like that. But it all comes from the frame of like, I'm gonna bang this girl for sure. And then the second key thing is framing it for her to come back home with you and then knowing how to answer objections when she gives objections, which she typically will. But the rest of the time you're just having fun. It's, you just keep it lighthearted and fun. You don't want to get into any like super serious discussions or like any like controversial topics where she could get offended or disagree with you on something that's important to her you know like politics religion like stuff like that but then you just let it you just let it unfold naturally but but most conversations go like mostly the same like they're trying to get to know you you're trying to get to know them it's like a foregone conclusion of whether or not you're going to get her so i'm never thinking like how do i keep this going how do i keep this going once you <laughs> to borrow a phrase from todd and this isn't even how i use it but once you go like meta, <laughs> once you yeah. start like analyzing what's going on 
uh-huh. and being like, how, how am I doing? Does she like me? Like, I, I've kept it going 10 minutes. How do I keep it going 10 minutes more? Then you start focusing on like what you should do and what you should say. And it, it takes you like out of the conversation. It, it like removes you from being present. In the, yeah, in the 100%. Time. I guess I'm trying to find that balance between not staying present, but also not letting it die off because I'm so present. I'm just not giving a shit, you know? But I guess you're saying yeah. it's pause. Maybe she'll fill in the pause. Yeah. And like mystery, mystery is the guy that helped, not, not personally, but like his teachings helped me the most with that. He talked about like the classic example you might have heard me say in a video before is if you were like in a park and a girl was walking her dog and you're like, hey, cute dog, what's its name? What kind of dog is it? How long have you had it? And then you're like, um, um, and she's like, okay, have a good day and just leave because yeah. you just beat the one thread into the ground versus like, hey, what's up? What are you up to right now? Oh, that's a cute dog. Oh, I like your hair. What did you do with your hair right there? And it's not, just, the point isn't to be like scatterbrained. It's just to like say things as they come to mind and be willing to jump from thread to thread. And any thread that's like losing steam or getting, getting stale or that drifts into negative territory, you just cut it. Like, right, yeah, I, I understand that if a girl's like off put by sexual jokes, move on. Yeah, so you just get used to like multi threading conversation and then, and then you can talk to anybody about anything, anytime and just go forever. Yeah, that's a very common problem that guys run into on dates is is how to keep the conversation going. And I get a lot of clients that are like in very good shape or like very traditionally good looking and that becomes a huge bottleneck for them because they get the girls on the date and then they just have like these long conversations and it's nowhere and the girl's like underwhelmed or the guy keeps letting the conversation fall off and That's mystery would always say like if you let the conversation uh fall flat or become boring the girl will blame you you know it's up to the guy to like we got like five guys backstage here so we'll, we'll, we'll keep things moving but do you have either of my products i've seen one of them like i've seen bits and pieces but i don't personally have it now it's okay because i cover that pretty exten- i cover that pretty extensively in outcomes and also the week program because that's a big that's like one of the biggest sticking points guys have is is what to say and that used to be a thing for me too because like i'd be like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go up and open but then what the fuck do i say but when i started it was like canned routines we're being taught. Yeah. So I would just I run hate, canned I routines. I feel unnatural saying canned routines. Yeah. Feels- and I still, I still like when I have like the the loose frameworks for the stories. I'm still telling a lot of the same stories, but it's not verbatim. So it's it's just like a, a loose structured topic. I was thinking about even adding into the course, like guys being able to fill out like templates for their demonstrations of higher value, where where it's like loose frameworks for stories because you're telling a lot of that same shit every time like like in brazil like on a date i'm like yeah i moved here in, or i came here in 2020 for vacation for carnival i liked it i extended my trip and then the pandemic happened and i decided to stay and they're like oh and you never went back well i'm like yeah my family's still in new york uh you know blah 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 and i dj and i, I run a company what do you do right but you're flirting with them too they're you're like you're like, oh, you look better than your pictures. Like, oh, your pictures are good, but like, you, I didn't know you I had love like, that such a line. I, I, that line actually seems to work because it's like a knock, but it's not like an aggressive knock at them, you know? Yeah, and it's not meant to be like a nag or anything like that. I like to like directly tell them I think they're hot and stuff like that without being a pussy about it. Just kind of like eye fucking them and, and, the, and having like a little smirk. I'll be like, oh, turn, like, you know, turn around. And I have like a mirror in my place and I'll, I'll like have us in the mirror and then i'm like oh we go good together the whole frame is like we have a good connection we fit perfectly but that's like that with every girl we are running a challenge december 8th and 9th where i will teach you everything i know about cold approach for free you can pick up your free ticket with the link in the info card or in the description i bought your product some time ago uh, my situation's kind of weird. I'm in Asia right now and I've been Asia. living here long term. And uh, yeah, the language isn't a problem. I, I can speak where, where it pretty well. Uh, Taiwan. Yeah, I, okay. I'm living in Taiwan. Dude, your product actually <laughs> fucking saved my life, dude. Like, like, like your product, I, I went from 14 to 37 and about, and how much I would time? say maybe about, I was going a little slow, but I'd say maybe like a nine month period of me not even going that hard, just using your, your, your system. Just casually, not even going too hard on it. So you um, more than double. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, it works. And I think uh, I, I improved my, like, I started good in the gym, so I'm in better shape now. Uh, I, I tended to before in interactions, like, I would spaz out because of, like, you know, just, like, the pressure of being there. You, you know, you got a really hot girl in front of you, and you kind of, like, you want to pick up speed and you start to get like a you know a little bit you get geeked out yeah it can make things a little bit weird but i I started like learning how to center myself and uh now that i'm better like with eye contact and stuff it's it's helping i'm just i don't know man i'm in like this thing i don't know maybe i need to start focusing on like uh getting bigger in the gym or something or maybe i have to push past a certain level but i don't know what my sticking point is it's just i can i'm only getting a certain level of girl and I want to push past it. I'm getting like around the best that I've gotten so far, according to my standard, is like an eight, eight point five, eight. I haven't gotten anywhere where I really want to go. 
And uh, do you have any, and I'm sure a lot of guys have had this same question before. What, what, what would you give advice wise in terms of getting past that sticking point of like to get moving the to the high quality girls? Yeah. I, d- I just did a video on this, uh, this past week, but the, and this is pretty common sense, but you just stop swiping on girls below that threshold and you stop cold approaching girls below that threshold. Then you never have girls huh. in the funnel that are, that are below that standard. Okay. Right. And then you have to do more volume to make up for it. So you still have enough leads to get enough dates to keep the machine running. There's less really hot girls, but I mentioned in that video, that's why I live in Brazil. And that's why I lived in Poland and Ukraine before. That's mm. why I lived in Miami, Vegas, San Diego. There's higher concentrations of hot girls and there and there's way less fat girls and they're way cooler internally. And yeah. So those all those reasons are why I don't live. W- which city are you in? Um, I'm in the capital here, Taipei. And are there a lot of yeah. hot girls? It, it's it's yeah yeah it's actually kind of insane how many hot girls. It's yeah, the, just, the ratio is yeah, amazing. Just, just don't approach anybody below your standards and don't don't swipe anybody below your standards and then you're only working with girls above that threshold. Have you been to Asia and 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 done anything out here before? Uh, Beijing. China, like years, so pretty years. much the same uh, like like a same culture like here it's like when you do cold approach it's like a really like the girls will get like spooked out and it's not normal yeah. here and the when, u.s is China, more like, warm in brazil super passive. like like the girls i met in china like they're like oh i've never met a guy that's like so confident and stuff like that i think like the culture is more reserved and passive way more reserved for sure yeah yeah but i was pulling from clubs like i didn't speak mandarin but i i would like take out like i had like a card that had my hotel like name and address on it uh, I, I would, I would be, like, flirting with girls and like get into a make out and then i would just be like you know i would basically just like use fucking gestures and, <laughs> nice. I, I was surprised there was like situations where where there were where i would expect like hardcore cock blocking in any other place and 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 the girls were like super passive and all the girls i banged had like lay counts of like one or two usually like i would ask yeah them, be, like, i've taken yeah, some like, virginities dude I, I never thought yeah. I'd be doing that consistently. Like the, the one girl I pulled, I, I was like my birthday at this one club called Babyface in Beijing. I was like the only white guy. And I pulled this chick and she brought her sister and their friend. And I was making out Yeah, that happens car. a lot. <laughs> and we, we got back to my hotel room and there was no place to bang her except the bathroom. So so I just brought her to the bathroom while the sister and the friend sat in the bed. And I was really <laughs> yeah. yelling. Really? But the friend, like, in, like in mo- I've been in those situations lots of times. And normally the friend will come and knock on the door and, like, want to check on her and all this bullshit. But, like, those girls didn't do that. Or, or they'll she just, didn't even like, have, like, a look on her face or anything when you, when you got out and she was, and you were done? I don't remember. It was, like, 2011. But, like, I don't know. I, I, I remember one of the girls, like, there was this girl who was, like, a model, like, super, super hot. And yeah. I did like a, a date in the hotel bar or whatever. And then I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I want to show you a picture that I took at the Forbidden City where I was like in the emperor's chair. I'm like, it's up in my mm-hmm. room. And then we went up there and, and like got into shit. And then she's like, Chi- she was like typing the translator, like Chinese girl, not so open. And I was like, yeah. oh, that's fine. But it just took like longer for the escalation process, but it still it still went down. But yeah, it's like there's like a, it's like a little bit of a different game because they're a little bit more passive. So long story short, just start approaching the ones that I find attractive. Maybe introduce yeah. more volume, go out, approach more daytime. Because yeah, I only do daytime, man. I only do in person. I don't do online, really. Okay, but so uh, try to try to go to the the clubs that have the the most concentration of the hot girls. So all the sure. high end. Yeah the high end stunners where that wherever they hang out just go in there and fucking talk to all of them when i go into a club that has like a lot of high end hot girls i want to i want to try to get all their phone numbers and if any of them like are are like particularly on I, i'll try to leave with them and then come back and, and get more phone numbers sometimes these days i don't go back after i pull i used to go back like in the old days i, I used to pull and go back and pull a second time a lot of nights but <laughs> You can claim your free ticket for our Approach Breakthrough Challenge, December 8th and 9th. It's going to be Friday and Saturday coming up not too uh, far off in the future by going to the info card in the corner or by going to the link in the description or the pinned comment and picking up your free ticket. Make sure you let me know what you think about this in the comments. Okay, like the video if you found value. Subscribe to never miss a video every single day. And I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.